All right, all right. Ah, welcome in. Good morning, Zach. Good morning, BC Elite, Billy D, Harrison Green, Little Tizzle, third fastest, Speedy. Let's start marching. That's right. Today is wear your favorite golf outfit day. That's right. Still got the shirt tucked in. Golf shorts, golf socks, hush puppy shoes. We're doing it all today, Preeti. Pickle and Penguin, ZV Slugger, Grandma Squeaky Cheeks. We got a trivia contest today, Dominator. The winner of our trivia contest. I'm mailing you a signed coloring book. All right. I will sign it and send it your way. Dinger in the house. Welcome in. Welcome in. Get those marches going a little bit faster. Get them going. That's it. Now rotate. Turn this way. That's it. And turn around this way. And here. And three claps. One, two, three. Arms high. Show off the armpits and sniff the armpits. Sniff the armpits today. Welcome in. Yeah, I like that idea. We'll have to wear our favorite jersey uh, one day next week. That's it. What do your armpits smell like? Touch your toes, don't pick your nose. Oh, yes. Spread out wide. Smell the left knee. Let's get a good stretch in today. Welcome, everybody. And switch. Smell that right knee, Judge Jr. That's it. And side to side. I'm going to challenge you kiddos today. We've got a short workout, and then we'll have our trivia contest. Uh, and we're bringing in a special guest on the Instagram Live, one of our everyday participants from Toronto, Canada. Blue Jays fan will be asking trivia questions as well. Pick those strawberries. Ready? Exercise. One, two, three. 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 Bee honkus. Butterflies. What'd you have for breakfast, folks? Let me know what you had. Add a boy to all the fellas. Add a girl to all the young ladies. Make a V. Touch your left phalange. Who else is here? Mom and dad, puppy pro, fireball, baby ball game, bitty ball game, super Henry, Soto, switch. Touch the right phalange. That's it. Touch both phalanges. Outstanding. Modeling pose. Left leg out, right foot across, twist and look behind you. If your back pops, Say, oh, my Lanta Lanta. That is our word of the day. Oh, my Lanta Lanta. Hug that knee in and sing it a song. I love you, Patella. You're kind, sweet, and funny. And you never talk back or argue. Switch! Twist and look behind you. Had a banana and some coffee for breakfast today. Hug that knee in. I love you so much, knee. Downward facing dog. Oh, the arms popped. Get those heels touching the ground. Cobra, bark like a dog. Half moon. Half moon. Hope your shirt's tucked in. Switch. Half moon. 
That's it. Donkey kick. Ten. Nine. Eight. Yeah. Like you've got peanut butter on your foot and you need to shake that peanut butter off. One. Switch. Other foot. If you've ever seen a donkey, this is what they do when they're hungry. They kick just like this. All right, up to the feet. Hustle salute. A little faster. A little faster. A little faster. Freeze. Three claps. One, two, three. Arm circle. Start small. Get a little bigger. Welcome, everybody. Nala's in the house. Soto in Missouri. Little Tizzle's ready to go. Nolan Ryan Jr.'s ready to go. Firestone's ready. Go backwards. Now hug yourself. That's it. Move that neck around. Flamingo stretch. Deep breath in through the nose. Slowly out the mouth. And switch. Go to the other side. Good job, PE class. Out. That's it. And 10 jumping jacks on your marks. Get set and go. Ryman in the house. Welcome. Six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 60 second jog. Find a place to jog. Go. Jog, jog, jog. Little Tizzle had a Rice Krispie treat. Do decent in the house. Dingers in the house. Jogging in place, folks. Today is wear your favorite golf outfit day. 30 seconds down, 30 to go. Fruit Loops is in the house. Soto having those Fruit Loops. Five seconds. Four. Three, two, one, and stop. Very good. Get your water break. This water break brought to you by Cinnamon Toast Crunch, my favorite cereal. Again, if you're just joining us, the winner of our trivia contest today gets a signed coloring book. If you'd like to get some coloring books, you can go to coloringbook.com. Go to my Instagram, go to my Facebook, you'll find the link. Uh, but these are selling like hotcakes, and it's epic. It's fun. It's awesome. First trivia question of the day is what does Coach Ballgame say when his back pops? Captain America in the house. First trivia question of the day. Oh, my Lanta is correct. Nolan Ryan Jr. takes the first point. So, oh, my Lanta, when the back pops. Mr. Vancouver, correct. Harrison Green, correct. Pickle and Penguin, correct. Billy D, correct. Zach Steinman, what's your nickname? You are correct. Little Tizzle, Captain America, Speedy, Nala, Ryman, all correct. Firestone, you were right there, very close. Let's see how many sit-ups we can do. In 30 seconds, on your marks, get set, and try to beat Coach Ballgame. One, two, get those hands to the ground and then to the socks. Hands to the ground, hands to the socks. Get those hands to the ground and then to the socks. Hands to the ground, hands to the socks. That's it. And stop. Let me know how many you were able to do there. Banana Crusher is in the house. Jay's fan, Zach Baseball in the house. Grandma Squeaky Cheeks, correct. Did anybody beat me? My number was 14. I was able to get 14 in. 
Firestone, well done. Nala, great job. Great job there. Harrison Green, Billy D, Judge Jr. with 15, Little Tizzle, 10. Made it very good. Got to remember on those, you're touching the ground and then touching your socks. Way to go, Little Tizzle and Dinger. Welcome in, fish man. All right, 30 seconds. How many push-ups? And when you're doing your push-ups, you've got to say positive things, uh, kind things, things that might win you the Roberto Clemente Award. On your marks, get set, go. You're beautiful, inside and out. I love your socks. You're very kind. You make me happy. Let's have lunch sometime. Wow, you're awesome. You're a great teammate. You're strong. You're fast. I like your smile. Uh, you're fun to be around. You smell great. I want to be like you. And stop. So let me know how many push-ups you did and maybe what was your most kind thing you said during those push-ups. What was that thing that might earn you the Roberto Clemente Award? Whew. That's a lot of push-ups, Firestone. Nice job, little tizzle. Billy D. Way to go, Harrison Green. Thank you, Blue Jays fan. Good sportsmanship. Robo5 in the house. Little Tizzle was cheering on everybody else saying, you can do it. I believe in you. Soto did 36 push-ups? My lanta. Wow. Nala. Nala said, I want to be like you. Zach Baseball said, I love Coach Ball Game. Dominator said, be nice, be beautiful, be kind. Wow, that sounds like a great song. Nice job. You are so awesome. Captain America kept saying, your sweater looks nice. How cool is that, right? If you walk up to somebody, hey, your sweater looks nice. It's going to make them feel better, right? It's a lot better than, uh, than not saying anything at all or just saying something mean. Firestone just kept saying the word epic. Nice job. All right. How many jumping jacks? But you've got to sneeze every time you do a jumping jack. All right. On your marks, get set, go. Hachu, 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 hachu. Sometimes a sneeze sounds like that. Hachu. 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 Hum, baby. How many jumping? Hachu. And stop. Very nice. Sometimes when baby ball game sneezes, it sounds like Mr. Vancouver. Well done. Great question from Mr. Vancouver. He said, how do you do a jumping jack and cover your nose? Great question. I don't know if anybody was able to figure that out. <laughs> Dinger said it was really hard to do a jumping jack and sneeze at the same time. That's multitasking. Harrison Green did 38. Little Tizzle did 36. Grandma Squeaky Cheeks, 38. Outstanding. Captain America, 36 jumping jacks. Mustache salute. Well done. Oh, Judge Jr. says wear a mask. If you wear a mask while you're doing jumping jacks, then you can sneeze at the same time. Good point. Speedy, 56. Man, you, you must have clicked fast forward. That's outstanding. All right, next trivia question. Winner of the contest gets a signed coloring book from Coach Ball Game. What? Class number is this. This is quarantine PE class number what?
Correct answer is 59, and it came in first from Harrison Green. Harrison Green now has one point, and uh, he's going to be our co-host pretty soon. As Knott's Berry Farm got it correct, so did Firestone. Uh, Dinger, Speedy, Nolan Ryan Jr., you're correct, with 59. Tomorrow will be class number 60. Pretty amazing. All right, how many burpees can you do in 30 seconds? This will be a little bit of a workout. It's a challenge, but you can do it. All those positive vibes that we've been throwing out in the past couple of minutes. Uh, let's keep it up. Go! If you land on your toes when you jump, your head won't bobble around. It's always important to stay on your toes. My heels have not even hit the ground yet. How about that? And stop. Whew. This is National Wear Your Favorite Golf Outfit Day. I just made that up. Whew. How many burpees? were you able to do? Uh, add a boy right back to you, Tyson. What's your nickname, Tyson? Soto in Missouri did 17 burpees. Firestone, well done. Captain America, Dinger, Blue Jays fan. That deserves an Oh My Lanta. Nala, well done. Nala, eight is amazing. I did eight as well. Dominator, well done. Yes, your nickname is Zach. Nickname Zach there. No Sandlot today. We'll take the day off Sandlot. And then tomorrow I've got baseball lessons in Laguna Hills. So if you want to sign up for a one-on-one -on -one baseball lesson, you can do that on my website or email me. Obviously, Judge Jr., you live in Florida, so that'll be a long flight. But uh, So we'll take the next couple days off Sandlot. We've got some great guests next week. But we do have our Thursday night trivia, 7.30 Pacific, 10.30 Eastern, for all you late, late night owls. And that's with War Stick. Yes, I'm sure we're all very exhausted. Deep breath in through the nose. Slowly out the mouth. Nolan Ryan Jr.'s got a Zoom. Let's give him an attaboy. One, two, three. Attaboy. Outstanding, Captain America. Okay, this is called Two Minutes of What a Ball Player Does. Find something to do for two minutes that's going to make your mom, make your dad say, wow, they are awesome. They're a ball player. On your marks, get set, go. Are you making that bed? Are you cleaning those baseboards? Welcome in, Coach Blair. What are you doing, Zach? What are you doing, Tyson? McBomber, Judge Jr., Little Tizzle. What are you doing, Pickle and Penguin? Mr. Vancouver. What are you doing, Billy D. and Harrison Green? What ball player activity are you doing, Zach Baseball? What ball player activity are you doing? Soto, Banana Crusher. Who else is in the house? Dominator. What are you doing, Dominator, to make the world a better place? 
Firestone. Nala cleaning up the sister's mess. Soto picked up the Legos. What are you up to, Speedy? Dinger. Knott's Berry Farm. Rye Man. Think of something you can do that's going to make your mom and dad go, wow, what are you doing, dude, decent? Third fastest. Firestone cleaned up. Hey, Braves for Life, welcome in. A little PE and some trivia. Boy, it must be National Lego Day. A lot of uh, cleaning up the Legos. Pickle and Penguin. Dominator making his bed. Harrison Green cleaned up the basement. Tyson Dahl picking up baseballs. Mr. Vancouver cleaned up the yard. Zach did the dishes. Look at us. We are absolute ball players, and I love it. And stop. Captain America cleaned up the bathroom floor. Let's go team meeting pose. On a knee, shoulders back. Balance an imaginary cup of milk on your head, and let's go staring contest. 12 seconds, go. If you blink, you lose. If you talk, you lose. If you burp, you lose. Pause. Round of applause. Stand up. Shake out the hands. Shake out the feet. Eye black salute. Mustache salute. Beard salute, mullet, Brad Pitt, scholar, bounce back, double bicep, triple bicep, quadruple bicep, kitty cat salute. Sportsmanship salute, hustle salute, honesty salute, bravery salute, leadership salute. And let's give all the young ladies an girl. one, two, three. At a girl. All the fellas and at a boy. One, two, three. At a boy. Very nice. Trivia starts in five minutes. Let's get a little round of can you beat coach ball game. Trash can in the middle. Four bases. I need one more base. And our first match will be the Floss Karate. And we'll go eight. On your marks, get set, go. Floss Karate, 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 eight of them. Ha! Shoot the basket. Now we're here. Plus, yeah, who, 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 yes, sir, re Bob Taylor, Rooski Doodle Day. Third base, can anybody beat me? Faster than the speed of light. A floss dance and a karate. I'm done. <sighs> Speedy beat me. Nala beat me. Firestone beat me. Little, little Tizzle beat me. Harrison Green tied me. Honesty salute. Captain America beat me. Soto is done. Pickle done. Billy D beat me. Well done. Outstanding. So let's go with our next trivia question. What is the date today? One point question. What is today's date? And again, Speedy, let's keep our uh, comments um, relevant to what we're doing. Thank you, Speedy.
So today is May 14th. May 14th. And my first May 14th was a little tizzle. So a little tizzle with one point. Add a girl. Let's give little tizzle an add a girl. One, two, three. Add a girl. Okay. This next go round, you got to do a push up and then a kangaroo hop. And you've got to do five of those. So it looks like this. You do a push up and then boom, boom. And then a push up and then boom, boom. And you got to do five of those at each base. We'll call it the push up kangaroo. On your marks, get set, go. Push up, kangaroo. Push up, kangaroo. Push up, kangaroo. Three. Boom, boom. There's my five, and I go. This is not an easy one. Push up, kangaroo. Push up, kangaroo. We are getting stronger, and we're getting faster, and we're getting more brave mentally and physically. Push up, kangaroo. Push up. My legs are tired, starting to get out of breath, but I could do one more. Woo! Kangaroo! Wow! And I'm done. Oh. Make sure you get a water break after that one. Whew. Little tizzle. Well done. Good job, Dinger. Tyson tied me. Honesty salute. Firestone tied me. Honesty salute. Soto, Captain America, Nala, great job. Okay, get yourself some water and get yourself set up for your trivia. And I'll bring in our guest, uh, our guest host, Harrison Green. He'll also be asking trivia questions. Whew. So pop on in, Harrison, when ready. Deep breath in. Hello, Harrison. Hi. Hi. Deep breath in through the nose. Slowly out the mouth. And let's give Harrison Green an epic hair salute. We actually look a lot alike. Same hair, same glasses, mustache salute. That is awesome. It's great to see you. And next week, we'll have Billy D join in as our guest host. And we'll just keep it going. If you'd like to be a guest host uh, on our Instagram Live during these Thursday trivias, just let me know, and we'll bring you in. Um, do you have your first question ready to go? Yes. Awesome. Fire when ready. Okay. When was the MLB established? What year was the MLB established? When? I've got an 1890, a 1903, I've got an 1879. A 
That's it. Yeah. What's our answer? 1869. And who had it correct? 83D24. So that is Judge Jr. First one, 1869. I'm also looking on YouTube as well. Uh, I'll be awarding comments there. But we are live on, on Instagram with Blue Jays fan, 1869. Uh, my question, and now we're up to three points, so I'll ring the bell. That means it's three-point round. By the way, what do you win? You win a signed copy of the Coach Ball Game Coloring Book if you win. Um, three-point question. What team does this guy play for? What team does this ball player play for? As BMW has, it's the Reds. So I've got to go Dinger on YouTube. And I've got to go Billy D on Instagram for three points. Back to you, Blue Jays fan. How many World Series championships have the Toronto Blue Jays won? How many have the Blue Jays won? And we won't go full names today. We'll make it a little bit different here. If you can just give me the last name of the team or last name of the player, that'll be fine. Reds is good. Mr. Vancouver with two. Tyson with four. Zach with two. Little Tizzle with five. Dinger with three. BMW says 20. I know they had at least two because they went back to back. Yeah. Over here, I've got four. I've seen the answer many times. Oh, well, uh, so whenever you see the answer, go ahead and call it out. Who won? It's two. They won 92 and 93. Yep. So Mr. Vancouver was my first two. Um, and over here on YouTube, Firestone was my first two. So, Mr. Vancouver gets three points, and Firestone gets three. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna move it on up to the five point questions. Five point questions. Are you ready? On your marks, get set. Who is the commissioner of baseball? My first correct answer was Dinger once again with Rob Manfred. Rob Manfred. Well done. Um, Dinger, that's a five-pointer for you. You now have eight. And the cool thing about Rob Manfred is one of his first ideas when he became the commissioner was to get kids to love baseball. And he's trying to figure out ways to get kids engaged in loving baseball. And I think this is one of the ways. Trivia contests, right? I did a contest with Lambo Media last night. Uh, he's a teenager uh, who, who also likes doing some trivia contests. Mustache salute to you, Lambo. Um, okay, Blue Jays fan, back to you. Five-point question. First player to achieve a triple crown. Who's the first player to achieve the triple crown? I also have some kiddos, M9 Baseball, ZB Slugger, I believe, that have started their own trivia contests on Instagram Live, and I think that is awesome. I think you guys could all do the same thing. You'd probably have much better trivia questions than me. And whenever you see the right answer, just go ahead and... Uh, yeah, Zach Simon with Rogers Hornsby. Rogers Hornsby is the right answer, and Zach gets... It's five points. This is second. All right. And we move on to the 10-point round. Uh, before we get started, Dinger in the lead with eight. Zach with five. Billy D, Mr. Vancouver, and Firestone with three. Judge Jr. and Little Tizzle uh, each have one. Ten-point question. This will be a toughie. 
But what position does this player play? And you kind of have to tell by the way their throwing form looks. What position is this player? Pickle is my first pitcher, Ryman, on YouTube. So Pickle and Wright and are now in the lead. Um, this guy's a pitcher, and you can tell because of the long windup, right? Uh, an infielder, they're going to keep the ball right here pretty close. An outfielder, they're probably going to crow hop. But a pitcher, he can really get to this position right here where he can stare at the target. Uh, you'll also notice right here is a little hill. That's the pitcher's mound. So good job. Back to you, Blue Jays fan. Okay. First pitcher throws both hands. Great question. I used to think the uh, the term for this was amphibious, but it's actually not amphibious. <laughs> Mr. Vancouver goes with Ryan. Firestone went with... We do need a, a last name. You seen it? I haven't seen it yet. Yep, I haven't either. We got a Jim Abbott. We've got a Pat Venditti. Now, there's a rule called the Pat Venditti rule, but I don't know if he was the first one to do it. Okay, I'll buy you. I see it. Who you got, Blue Jays fan? Uh, Judge Jr. was uh, Tony Mullen. Tony Mullen is correct. He was the first one to throw with both hands. And then a guy named Pat Vendetti came around, and they had to make a rule. Because he had this glove that you could switch on either hand. It was a six-fingered glove. And he okay. would throw right-handed to right-handed batters. And then he'd switch the glove over and throw left-handed to left-handed batters. And they had to make a rule that said, you have to tell the umpire if you're going to switch gloves and switch hands. So Judge Jr. with a 10-pointer now takes the lead. Very nice. I've got a 10-point question for you, and you have to be attending my uh, class to get this one right, for sure. What do I call the segment where you put the trash can in the middle and you go around the bases? What is that segment called? Ah, uh, Firestone thought I was <laughs> Firestone said 59 because he thought the question was going to be what class. Um, little Tizzle was the first. Try to beat Coach Ball game. Um, so well done right there, Little Tizzle. That puts you up to 11. Can you beat Coach Ball game? Uh, that's what that one's called. And an, All right, so we've got 10 minutes left, and it's all 25 pointers. Blue Jays fan, whenever you're ready. What is the record for fastest pitch recorded? Ooh, what's the record for fastest pitch recorded? Uh, Judge Jr. was 105.1 miles per hour. Judge Jr. gets a 25-pointer, puts him up to 36. And I think it was Nolan uh, – no, not Nolan Ryan. Uh, Araldus Chapman? Yeah. yeah, I think it was. Araldus Chapman. Now, I think a pitcher for the St. Louis Cardinals might break that record at some point. Um, this is not a trivia question, but what is that relief pitcher's name for the Cardinals? Uh, that throws it like 103, 104. Joel Zamaya used to throw it really fast, too. It's it's not in the record books, though, Zach. Good guess, though. It's not Carlos Martinez. He can throw it about 100. But uh, they've got a relief pitcher. It's not Andrew Miller.
and it's not Mott. Hicks, that's who it is. Thank you, Billy D. It's Jordan Hicks. Um, now, before we continue, I want to make sure we can comment over here on YouTube. Can you comment? I don't think so. I'm going to have to close out of here and come back. So we'll take a quick time out so I can okay. get back on YouTube because uh, we want – 